Hey everyone, today I thought I would make a video on how to make these motifs here and then attach them together to make this shawl. I put this free pattern on our website not too long ago, but I had taken a step-by-step -step picture tutorial so that you could follow along and know how to attach these all together because it was a lot easier to do the step-by-step -step pictures and when I did I tried to make a PDF to go into the Etsy listing and um, it gave me problems so I figured that today I would walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do these because it's a lot easier on video and well, let's get started so all I'm going to use for this demonstration is scrap yarn and a size H hook. I don't know if you can see that. There it goes. And um, if you want the full supplies list of what I used, it's over on our blog. You can check it out. But I'm just going to use a blue and then a white so you can tell when I attach the motifs. We're going to start with a magic circle. And all the motifs are created the same way and then you attach them as you go. And this one, this right here counts as one of the chains. In the pattern, it calls for a chain five. And because that counts as one, that'll be part of the chain five. And this chain five counts as a double crochet and a chain two. And what you're going to do is you're going to double crochet in this magic circle chain two and then put another double crochet and you're going to repeat this till you have eight double crochets and eight chain two spaces okay so I have eight double crochets one two three four five six seven eight and eight chain two spaces one two three four five six seven eight and I'm just gonna pull the strand here and pull it together and then we're going to slip stitch into the third chain up and that completes round one. Okay, to start the next round we're going to slip stitch over into the first chain two space and then chain three. One, two, three. And the next thing we're gonna do, oh, the chain three counts as a treble next thing we're going to do is we're going to place three more trebles into this chain two space so a treble is you yarn over twice insert your hook into the chain two space and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two pull through two and we're going to do that two more times wrap twice insert pull up a loop yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two one more time. And there's your first petal. Okay, now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to go to the next chain two space here and we're going to put four trebles one
two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to create a corner. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go into the next chain two space here and put four trebles. So yarn over twice. One. Two. Three, four, and you've made your corner here. Now we're going to chain three. And we're going to put four trebles in the next chain two space. And you're just going to repeat this. Chain 5, 4 trebles, chain 3, 4 trebles, chain 5, and you're going to continue all the way around. Okay, I finished my motif and I just need to slip stitch to the third chain that we created at the beginning of the row. And then snip off our yarn. And there it is. Okay, to begin your second motif, you're going to start it like you did your other one with eight double crochets and eight chain two spaces. And you're going to slip stitch to the third chain from that round. And then you're going to slip stitch over to the chain two space and chain three. You're going to put four, three trebles in this one, sorry. Okay. Chain three. One, two, three. Put four trebles in this one. Well, the next chain two space. Okay, now here is where it's going to get a little awkward until you get the hang of attaching these motifs. You're going instead of chaining five to create a corner, we're going to chain two, and then we're going to grab our motif and find a chain five space, which is one of the corners, and we're going to slip stitch to it. Like that 
and then we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to go back to our second motif and put four trebles in it in the chain two space. Okay, there's your four trebles, and then you're going to chain one instead of chain three, and you're going to slip stitch to this chain three here. You're going to chain one, and you're going to put four trebles in the next chain two space. Okay, now we're going to attach to the next chain 5 space, so we're going to chain 2, slip stitch over here to this chain 5 space, chain 2, and then we're going to put 4 trebles in this next chain 2 space. Okay, and that's all you do for this motif. You just finish it the way you would the regular motif. So you would chain three here and put four trebles, chain five, four trebles, chain three, and so on until you finish your motif up. Okay, I went ahead and hid my ends and attached everything. And I highly recommend that you hide your ends after each section because you're going to have a lot of tails to hide. I ended up uh, hiding all my ends each section because each section you'll have another square or motif which means more tails to hide each time. Okay, I went ahead and started my third motif and I'm going to slip stitch over to the chain 2 space and chain up 3 and I'm going to treble 3 times in it 1 2 three. Then we're going to chain three and we're going to put four trebles in this one. So one, two, three, Four. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to grab our motifs and we're going to put, we're going to attach our motif over here to this chain five space. See our second section is started here. We're going to go here and work our way to here. So let's go ahead, we'll attach a motif, chain 
chain two and go ahead and put four trebles in the next chain two space one two three four now let's chain one slip stitch to this chain three space chain one and then put four trebles in the next chain two space chain two and then attach our motif to this blue not to the white here but the blue from the first section chain two and then we're just going to finish off our motif like we always do four trebles into that next chain two space And then you're just going to chain three and put four trebles in the next chain two space, chain five, four trebles in the next chain two space, and so on until you have your motif finished. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my third motif for section two. In each section, you're going to have one extra motif. See, this is section one, you have one motif, section two has two motifs, section three will have three motifs, and so on, until you get your shawl or your scarf or whatever you decide you want to make to the size that you want. I went ahead and made a shawl with the, this pattern. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started for section three. Okay, I went ahead and made my first motif for my third section and I attached it and got it ready and I figured I'd go ahead and just show you how to do the second motif for section three since that one's just a little bit different from the rest of them and then after that y'all should be good and be able to make the scarf or the, the shawl whatever you decide to make as big as you want once you figure out the side ones in the middle one it shouldn't be that hard so i went ahead and got my motif started and we're going to slip stitch over to the first chain two space and chain three and we're going to work three trebles in that chain two space Okay, we're going to chain three. Put four trebles in that next one. Now you're going to go ahead and chain two and grab your piece and we're going to take and slip stitch to this chain five area right here, not to the blue but the white. We're going to go ahead and slip stitch if I can get my piece in order. There we go. 
and chain two to finish it. And we're going to put four trebles in that next one. Finish that one off. Okay, we got our four, and then we're going to chain one. And we're going to attach to this chain three space here. Chain one. And put four trebles in that next chain two space. chain two okay so here is where it gets a little tricky instead of slip stitching to this next chain five space here we're going to go back to the first section here and we're going to slip stitch to this blue one instead of the white ones so we got our chain two and we're going to slip stitch to this blue one chain two and we're going to go ahead and put four more trebles in that next chain two space okay now chain one and we're going to come back over here and we're going to skip this chain five here and we're going to slip stitch to this chain three space here it's all blurry there we go we're going to chain one and we're going to put four more trebles in the next chain two space. We're going to chain two. And this is our last. We chain two and we're going to attach our piece one last time to this chain five space here. Chain two. And then we're just going to finish off the motif like we normally would. So I put four trebles in this one. This next chain two space here. Chain three, one, two, three, four trebles in this next chain two space. Okay, we got our four. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to slip stitch to the third chain up. Break yarn. Pull yarn through. Kind of fix our 
piece up a little bit. I'll have to take and make sure that the slip stitches and stuff are all centered in the motif. That way it looks right. But anyways, there's how you attach the middle one and you know how to attach the sides. Um, I do recommend after you make your piece to block it or steam it, whatever method you like. Because these do kind of get all wadded up. And if you take and steam or block them, they'll lay out flat and your piece will look perfect. Thanks for watching.